called essential oil education. This is what it's really all about, right? <laughs> so, just by the show of hands, who here is brand new to the essential oils? Like just learning, you haven't been to a class before, it's your first time, okay? Yes? Hi, you're new. You just come? Yeah, but I mean, you just got here. Yeah, 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 great, welcome. I'm Tristan, nice to meet you. Okay, so I have like three newbies in here, four newbies. Awesome. So, oh, what happened to my thing? Um, no. Did it turn off? Yeah, my iPad is showing. And it was on. <laughs> Sorry, my, my projector went to sleep. <laughs> Oh, you all saw that really cute picture of me with my baby, right? So you know. <laughs> okay, now would be a good time to pass around. Oh, I think this one is off. Yeah. It's your fault. All mine. Yeah, yeah. Is it turning back on? Okay. That one's. Yeah, that one's good. <laughs> Yeah, that one's good. This one, should I should I hit it again or no? Yes. <laughs> one more. Okay. One more. Try one more time. All right. It's coming on. Oh, here we go. Exceed your vision, my friends. That's what we're doing here. Okay. Um, so we. Um, I'm going to pass around some oils. I just really feel like we should all take a moment. So this side's going to be my awake side. This side's going to be my sleep side. I'm just, because I don't have two. So this side's getting peppermint. And just do like one drop if you can, because there's, you know, it's not a lot. So serenity and peppermint. Okay, beautiful. There we are. That's my baby. <laughs> Number five. This is my babe, my real baby, my baby baby. Yeah, that's Kyler. And um, so, okay, so we've all been here for like the last hour and a half together, so you all know me. But I'd like to start by just kind of introducing how I got started with doTERRA, what it means to me, and really the reason why I teach about essential oils. I've been teaching about essential oils for eight years now. I just had my eighth anniversary with doTERRA, January 10th was my day. And thank you. So when I first got started, I remember I, I was a new mom. I had two little boys at the time, and I found that they kept getting ear infections. And as a mom, you know, I was just like we all are, you know, whether you're a mom or not, you're just doing the best you can, right? So you go with what you know. And at the time, I didn't know a lot about natural solutions. I just knew what my mom had taught me, and she's amazing, like my mom raised five kids, She's the best mom ever, but we weren't really raised holistically. So we would, you know, antibiotics, go to the doctor, lots of antibiotics, and Dimetap, and Robitessin, and you know, Costco, and mac and cheese, and all that, you know what I mean? So it's fine, I, I turned out fine, it's no big deal. But when I became a mother, I found that I was really not satisfied with what was there, you know? And so we, my two little guys, I remember one morning they had been on like their third round of antibiotics for these ear infections. And I, I woke up one morning and my little guy, um, I had a four year old and a two year old and the four year old woke up and had blood on his pillow. And that is shocking, right? So anytime you see blood around your kid's head, you're like, okay, it's his eardrum. I'm sure that's all it is. It's just his little eardrum, you know, but it's so scary. So immediately I like, you know, get them on their car seats and drive them up to the doctor and sit in the waiting room and pay the copay and, you know, just to have him tell me, yep, it's an ear infection and his eardrum has burst and we're going to try another round of antibiotics. And I, I, I mean, I have a huge respect for doctors. When doTERRA actually loves working with doctors and partnering with doctors, so it's not anything against doctors and the medical community, it's just I knew that that wasn't right for my kids, you know, and it was like this wake up call for me to wake up, you know, and figure out how to take care of your kids as their mother. And so I said, no, thank you. 
I'm gonna go figure it out. So Melina had, the truth is, I had already purchased a kit of oils by this time because my friend just invited me to a class. And I was like, yeah, I'll get the cheapest one. Sure, I don't even know how to use it. It was like the family, whatever it's called now, the family essentials. <laughs> it's called a family physician kit, that's what it was called. Anyway, the cheapest one. So I got that one and I called her. I'm like, all right, how do I use these oils? So she explained to me that I could use lavender and melaleuca from my kit that I had already purchased and that I could rub that around the outside of their ears and concentrate on their feet, on their toes, also using some On Guard to help you know, combat any bacteria that was in there as well. And I remember it so vividly because little kids can't, they don't fake stuff. You know what I mean? Like little kids like that, like they are either sick or they're not, you know? And like an hour and a half later, they're up running around, fighting and playing like they always do, right? And I still thought, was that real? Like, did that really, you know, maybe it was something else. I don't know what else, but maybe, you know, Melina was like, yeah, it was the oils. That's what you use. You use the oils at work, right? And I was just blown away by that. I felt so empowered. You guys, I felt like, oh my gosh, I have these little oils in my hand and I could save myself hundreds of dollars at the doctor. I drive to the doctor, time, you know, like just my own time. And most importantly, like I have this really beautiful little medicine cabinet in my home that I know I can take care of my family with. The medicine that doesn't expire and is at my fingertips. So that really incited a passion in me where I felt like, actually I kind of got a little bit angry because I thought, well, why didn't I know about this before? And if I don't know about it, then how many other people don't know about it? And so it really became my mission to just tell one more person. You know, if I could just tell one more mom or one more individual about these oils and it could help change their life, save them from having to go to the doctor one more time, pay those co-pays again, or take time off work from being sick. I wanted to be someone who would actually share that message. So that's how I got started in this beautiful, beautiful journey. So here's a picture of my family. I had already kind of told most of you guys here that we recently moved to Hawaii. So the two tall ones on either side of me, those are the ones that got me into the oils. And thank goodness they did through their um, health needs. And then of course, my, my, I call him my little brownie on the end because he's the only one that has dark hair. That's the mini Kyle. And, um, and then Crosby, he's my four year old. He's actually wearing my sunglasses. And, uh, and then of course, Kyler um, is, he'll be two in February. And I am happy to say that um, no one has been on antibiotics since then. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Truly. Yay. Yeah. It's like the ear infections, it's like we got so on top of our health that they didn't even occur anymore. It's like, I don't, it just went from we had them to we don't because any little sniffle, any little, you know, prevention that we, you know, we know it's time for school, to, you know, school's back in season, we know that's cold and flu season. Um, I know that there's actually a really awful flu going on right now, so I'm prepared for that, right? I, I get on the plane, I got my on guard, I'm sucking on the lozenges and the beadlets, and, you know, just being more proactive in my healthcare. And I think that's made a huge difference for my family um, and feeling empowered with our health. So here's a question for you and also people who you know and love. Do you need safe, effective, and affordable healthcare? There's been a lot of talk in our country about the Affordable Healthcare Act, right? It's affordable for some people, and it's not affordable for others. And you know what? I think that there are well-meaning individuals who try to do their best, right? So not hating on any government parties, not going political on it or anything, but what I do know is that I don't even worry about it anymore, you guys. It's not a part of my life because my healthcare is in my hands in my home. And I'm educated and I'm surrounded by people who some of them know more than I do. I can ask questions in these community groups that we have created, one that is actually on right now, which is why I decided to go live in my product education group. So people who just follow me just because of my essential oil knowledge can get this information, right? And that's what you guys all have as well. There are these little communities, whether you're just sharing a couple of oils or just using them for yourself, you are being an example to your community about being empowered in your own healthcare. So today we're gonna cover three things. One is, what is an essential oil? Two is, how to use them? And three is, how to get them in your home, okay? Just three things, that's all, it's actually, 
quite short. I like to keep it short. That way we have time at the end for questions and kind of personal uh, consultations, okay? So you do have choices, right? So first of all is the modern approach. I find it ironic that today, essential oils and natural healthcare herbs and things like that, that's called alternative medicine, right? <laughs> right. So it's interesting because I think if it was 100 years ago and someone you know was sick and you offered them like a little white pill, like they would probably look at you like, you're crazy. I'm not, I don't know what that is. Like, where's that gonna take me? You know what I mean? Like, we're not doing that. So it's interesting how we call modern healthcare Really, the modern approach today is just designed to manage your symptoms. It doesn't really address the root cause of what's causing that symptom, right? You're just masking symptoms. It's really, modern medicine is made from isolated synthetic agents. So what that means is it's made from chemicals. So even if it smells like a lavender, it's not necessarily from a lavender plant. It's just made in a laboratory to smell like that. Um, most medicines, come from plants, right? And they isolate those active ingredients in the plant, and then they chemically reproduce it in a laboratory to stop your headache, stop your stomach ache, stop your knee ache, whatever that may be. But those are synthetic chemicals that actually mask those symptoms, okay? There's a lot of side effects. Some of them are known, and some of them are unknown, right? And you hear a lot about the side effects. Those drug companies are required to go through the list of possible side effects. Can anyone name their favorite side effect from those drug commercials? Come on. Suicide. Oh my gosh. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. Yeah. Anal leakage. Anal leakage. Yes. Okay. Yes. Your rheumatoid arthritis is going to be awesome. And you're going to have anal leakage. I mean, if there was a natural way, if there was a natural way, and people knew about it, wouldn't they try? Would they try? I think so, yeah. We spend over six and a half trillion dollars a year on our healthcare system, you guys. That's amazing. Can you imagine if we spent six and a half trillion dollars a year on our transportation system, like in this country? What if we spent that much? Would we, would we be flying around in cars? I mean, like, would we revolutionize? Like, would we ever have to sit in traffic again? If we spent six and a half trillion on our transportation system, or how about our education system? That amount, that budget, how beautiful would that be? To send like every child in this country to like a beautiful college and educate our children the way that they should be educated? We don't spend six and a half trillion on our, on our education. We do spend six and a half trillion on our healthcare. And are most people healthier now? <coughs> Unfortunately not. Some of us are, right? Some of us are learning and becoming more aware of how to take care of our bodies and who to trust and who to not trust and all that kind of stuff. So I think we are getting better. I think doTERRA, personally I know that doTERRA has been a huge part of this grassroots movement of individuals waking up to take care of their health care. But as a global community, unfortunately most major diseases are on the rise, right? I actually have heard um, on numerous occasions that for the first time in decades that our children will not live as long as, like their lifespan, it would not be as long as our lifespan will be. So it's declining, okay? So there's some issues here, right? And I think that's why you guys are here and why you are passionate about taking control of it for yourself and maybe even sharing it with others is because you know that that's true, right? So the system here is man produces it, it addresses your symptoms, but the need remains, the root cause stays there as you're masking those symptoms, right? So our natural approach, and this is really what we're gonna be focusing on, I just wanted to make sure it was clear about you know, what the real issue is here and why we are doing what we're doing, because the natural approach addresses our body's <laughs> needs, right? It goes directly to those root causes. So one of my favorite things about oils is that you could use an oil, for example, On Guard. Um, who here has tried On Guard? So you know, um, it's, it's spicy, right? It's got like a cinnamon, clove, wild orange, rosemary, eucalyptus. It's a really powerful, it tastes like Christmas in a bottle, right? And what I love about it is that I can put it actually in my mouth, on my tongue, and if I have a sore throat, it's going to address my symptom. It's going to help my throat to stop hurting, right? But what else is it gonna do? Support. Yeah, it actually supports my immune system, right? So my body doesn't have to heal twice 
once from my sickness and twice, or you know, the second time from the medicine. Like, and that's what happens when you use like synthetic drugs, right? Your liver has to process the chemicals. Okay. So with the oils, it's actually, it's, it's absorbed right into your bloodstream and it works really well in conjunction with your body. So I love the way that natural medicine addresses those needs. The essential oils are extracted from plants and these plants and oils enhance both our physical and our emotional health, which is great. When we smell something, it goes directly into our limbic system and affects parts of our brain that are, are actually related to our mood and our memories, our emotions, and things like that. So many, many different uses of just using one essential oil. And it's also safe without the um, side effects. In fact, you get side benefits there, right? So. I think most of you know what are essential oils, but there's such a beautiful, robust chemistry that I'm not gonna go into, but I've seen firsthand when these plants are harvested from some of these, so from some of these locations, it's really amazing to see like how the process happens, right? From the plant that grows in the ground and the way they harvest it and why it matters in terms of potency and purity. And essential oils are simply natural aromatic compounds that are extracted and distilled from plants for their health benefits. And they're actually very, very powerful. In fact, they contain hundreds of different compounds, which means like, you know, you have that bottle of peppermint. Um, can we make the bottle of peppermint go to this side and the bottle of serenity go to that side? <laughs> <laughs> Wherever it ended up, <laughs> I got. I'm gonna now. I'm gonna wake up my sleepy side and put to sleep my my wake side. Okay. So as far as the peppermint goes, I want you to notice there are hundreds of different uses for peppermint. Like I would say, like if there's one, I mean, okay, I can't pick one because I'm gonna have to pick frankincense and then I'm gonna have to pick peppermint. But peppermint has so many different uses, right? Digestive and alert and headaches and. I mean, energy and all that kind of stuff. And that's because there's lots of active ingredients. So when they say compounds, what that means is like, if they were to put a drop of oil on, you know, and do like a big test on it, they would be able to see all the different compounds that make up peppermint, okay? Lots of different things. And they have very versatile abilities to combat threats without building up resistance. This is huge. Because a lot of times when you have the overuse of an antibiotic or different drugs, your body will build up an immunity to that particular drug. But because the essential oils are so robust and all the different compounds are in there, your body doesn't build up an immunity to an essential oil because it just continues you know, identifying new compounds and using it in different ways. And uh, one drop of peppermint oil, um, as those of you on the wakey side are experiencing now, it's very strong, right? It's actually one drop of peppermint oil is equal to 28 cups of peppermint tea. And I like to talk about this illustration because a lot of people um, who are into natural health like to use herbs, which I think is fabulous. Like herbs are great, oils are great, but just understand that the oils are still living. Like they still have like a vibration and like an energy around them. Herbs are really good, but they're also much like with our food, like when the food um, is pulled off the, the, you know, the plant and it kind of dies, right? It gets dry and brittle and can still be valuable, but it doesn't have like the same usage or the same potency as an essential oil, okay? And it's affordable. So I just want to say that using, you know, a bottle of, so when my boys were sick, right, and they, I was going to the doctor and I, and I have to pay $50 copay, Every time I would go to the doctor, I mean, I must have spent probably $300 going to the doctor, not to mention the time that I had to take, which I feel like my time is more valuable than my money even, right? Um, and, and just having that little kit in my home is like, it's, way, it's pennies per dose because they're so potent that you just use one or two drops um, as you're experiencing and treating different things, okay? So I mentioned the quality. So there are a, a lot of different essential oils out there. And if you went to like a Whole Foods or something in a pretty reputable store, there's like a whole shelf of essential oils. And how do you really know like which one to pick or you know which one to buy? I mean, I don't know about you, but to me personally, if I didn't know about doTERRA, I would probably go to Whole Foods and I would just pick like the middle priced one that has the prettiest label. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that one looks good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I don't want to go the cheapest one because that one's obviously crappy, but I don't need to pay the most. I'm going to go middle ground. 
If it's got like a little shiny label to it, for sure I'm gonna get, they're gonna get me on the shiny label, right? So you don't really know, and even if they say 100% pure, that actually doesn't really mean much of anything. Um, an oil can be, I believe it's up to 80% synthetically created in a laboratory and still label itself 100% pure. Most of the oils you'll notice say, do not ingest for topical use only and always dilute with a carrier oil, always. And I think carrier oil is good, and we'll talk about safety in just a minute, but understand that when you're looking at something that would be considered 100% pure, like truly pure, that um, doTERRA's oils have actually a supplement label on them. Uh, you'll notice supplemental facts. This is a very distinct label that most essential oils do not have. So it allows you to ingest and use all three ways, um, depending on what the label says, okay? So there's lots of different types of oils. You can see here um, that most essential oils are synthetic. So this is gonna be, you know, your hand soaps and your lotions and your air fresheners. And, you know, I, lo I love when the, the air freshener says, now scented with essential oils, you know? I'm like, yeah, kind of. Um, <laughs> anyway, and then you've got your food grade oils. Those are oils that are gonna be flavorings. So those are, um, those are like if you were to make like a lemon flavored frosting or a wintergreen flavored gum, right? Like the FDA requires that they have a grass standard generally regarded as safe, just to make, so that you could actually put it in your mouth and generally you would know that that would be safe, okay? So therapeutic is a little bit more of, you know, you may get like a relaxing effect from things or um, may have some therapeutic value, but to be considered a medicinal quality or a certified pure therapeutic grade quality, there are multiple different tests that that oil has to go through. And um, those tests are done independently in three different laboratories and um, not paid for um, by doTERRA, meaning they're not like doTERRA laboratories. It's not like doTERRA says they're the best, so they are, right? It's all independently done. And doTERRA actually regularly rejects batches of oil that do not meet their quality and they test each batch of oil. It's not like a general test where they're gonna test one in five or something like that. It's every single batch of oil. And I have seen those vats in Guatemala myself. Like we picked the cardamom, we learned how to dry it, we learned what kind of bag it's supposed to be stored in. We learned that sometimes different growers won't store them in the right kind of bag. You know, this is all stuff that like the general public doesn't know, right? And for a long time, I just, I knew that doTERRA was a reputable, com reputable company, and so I believed it, and it was good, and that's great. But also understand that I have seen, um, you know, we've been to Haiti and Guatemala and seen where these oils are coming from, and we know that when they put the, them into those vats and they seal it shut, um, that the oil that comes out of there is absolutely the very best. And for me and my body and my emotions and my children, I would never compromise on that. We're talking about using this as your medicine, right? So you wanna make sure that it's super pure. Most tested and most trusted. I already said all of it. You can read it here, but <laughs> sometimes I just start talking and then I'm like, oh yeah, what the slide said, okay? Plants harvested in their natural habitat, uh, you know, free of fillers and third-party testing, like I said. Oh, also. There are many different hospitals and universities that are now using doTERRA's oils in their research and in their treatments. And that is something that doTERRA has worked really, really hard for to be considered, you know, to be used as a medicinal grade essential oil in, in their facilities. So it's, really, it's a really cool thing. I've actually been to many different conferences at convention and, and things like that where I hear directly from those doctors, from the emergency room doctor who is using these oils, from the orthopedic surgeon who includes doTERRA oils in his mixture of when he replaces someone's knee or their hip to make sure that they're not going to get that buildup of bacteria and things that sometimes you gotta take the knee out and start over again, right? This is a real problem and they are using doTERRA oils in their treatments now to make sure that that doesn't happen. So it's a beautiful thing. So let's talk about you, okay? Let's talk about how you can use essential oils. So the first way is aromatically. Aromatic is gonna be probably the most common way that people are used to using essential oils, right? So this would be if you had a diffuser, um, you could put a couple drops of oil, there's a, a diffuser pictured here, um, you could put a couple drops of oil in that diffuser with some water and it would spray out a nice fine mist. I like to use oils in a diffuser every day. I have like the stinkiest kitchen, it drives me nuts, because it's like constant like, 
cooking and cleaning and cooking and cleaning and five boys, really six boys, and fruit and humidity and like, ugh, just nasty. So I have a diffuser going in there like pretty much constantly. I love to diffuse the citrus oils in my kitchen. It just makes for a happy kitchen, right? I also diffuse our Slim and Sassy blend as a side note. I'll talk about that later, but I love to diffuse a Slim and Sassy blend. It actually has um, properties that help to reduce your appetite and it smells really amazing. It's made um, with cinnamon, peppermint, ginger, lemon, and grapefruit. So I drink Slim and Sassy, I smell Slim and Sassy, I rub Slim and Sassy all over me. It's like, Slim and Sassy is a big one. That one is on my, I order that one monthly. I will be, I will be honest. So I love it. So um, I also use oils aromatically in my children's bedrooms, mostly for germ prevention. You know, when they go to school and they come home, it, you know, when you start noticing that they have symptoms, of you know, runny nose or a cough or something, they've already had that virus or bacteria probably for a day or two. And so I like to be more preventative about it. So having that on guard going in their bedroom um, just ensures that my kids are protected pretty much all the time, okay? So peppermint um, is just an example. We've already passed around peppermint, but it's a great one um, to diffuse. Okay, so the next way that you are gonna use oils is topically. And this one is yummy, and I am gonna pass, I think, if you have something that hurts, like here. Let's just, just put some on your arm or something, even if your arm doesn't hurt, like just feel it, oh my gosh. I had the, the craziest workout two days ago, you guys. I am so sore right now, like I'm standing up here like, do you guys need to stretch? Cause oh man, my muscles hurt. So Deep Blue is my best friend. Um, for anything that hurts. Like, I, I think Deep Blue is one of the most popular oils. It's easy to use, people get it. It's not like a weird foo-foo thing. It's like, hey, this hurts, rub it on there. You know what I mean? It works really well. And let me tell you something really cool about Deep Blue. So Deep Blue has wintergreen and osmanthus and some really blue tansy, which is why it's blue, but it also has helichrysum. And helichrysum is one of the only natural substances that has been shown to regenerate tissue in your body. So you can imagine for more of like a chronic type of pain, when maybe there's some degenerative you know, things going on in the body with joints and things like that, using deep blue regularly not only helps to make the pain go away, but it also helps to rebuild those tissues in the body so that you start to move away from you know, what was causing that pain in the first place. So another thing, and just, I'll answer your question just a sec. Another thing about this is I will say, what does it smell like? What drum does it smell like? Bengay. Yeah, Bengay, Bengay, right? So this is a great example of how Bengay, as a company, they know that wintergreen, and the active ingredient in wintergreen is called, and you don't have to know this, but it's interesting, right? Methyl salicylate in wintergreen is the compound that they isolate and synthetically reproduce in a laboratory to create Bengay. And so they, can, they know that they can't you know, patent wintergreen. They have to synthetically create it and then add their different chemicals in to make their own brand. You know? And so that's kind of how they do it. That's a good example of how they take a plant and then turn it into a drug. So with Deep Blue, you are getting 100% wintergreen and all these other beautiful oils as well as the helichrysum and that's a, that's a big one for sure. So we that one comes in like a big squeeze leader tub thing. People can take baths in it. Now don't do that. You really just need a tiny bit. I've actually used too much deep blue before, you know, like on a leg day, you know, and you just like slather it on. You're like, oh, my legs are on fire. Does anyone else have a really great deep blue story or experience? Yeah. Um, I was talking to my best friend who's so anti oils, and she is a nursing student. And Stretching. She's just like, 
talk about Jade Blue like all night, which is so great. So let's move on. I had mentioned On Guard. So when we look at using oils, how you're going to use oils, the third way is internally, okay? And this is unique. You notice this? Only certified pure therapeutic grade oils. And I would also add sparingly. You know, you don't have to go crazy. You don't have to like just guzzle oil. That's not what we're talking about. Oils are best used in small doses more often than large doses like one time. Okay, and so using oils internally, like On Guard, can be a really powerful immune system boost. Um, it can support healthy respiratory function, um, and really, you know, On Guard, obviously, I said you could already use it, but I drink lemon in my water every day. Like, if you want to know, like, a healthy tip that I do, this, I brought this cup from Hawaii. Like, that's how much I love it. This is my Yeti. It's my Baba. And I just, it just, water just tastes better in it. It's so weird. So I put um, maybe one to two drops in the whole thing, you know, and fill it up. Sometimes I do some and sassy, sometimes I do lemon. I recommend using a stainless steel or glass container. Glass does not work in a house full of boys, so I do not use glass, but um, this container is awesome. And it helps to just flush out any toxins that are going on in my fat cells or in my digestive tract, kidneys, liver, all of that. It tastes really good. And you can do any, I mean, citrus oils, wild orange or grapefruit. My husband actually had a pretty strong energy drink addiction a few years ago. I mean, he just, anyway, that's his story. So he used grapefruit in a um, Perrier. So he did it with like, because he liked the bubbles, you know? So if you have people who have uh, Diet Coke or, you know, different types of soda needs or addictions or whatever you want to call it, um, maybe suggesting if they would like to stop doing that, using like a Perrier with some grapefruit. Grapefruit is, is actually an oil that helps stop addictions. Lots of different types of addictions. Caffeine is one of them, as well as other types of addictions. So that is a great one to, um, and you know what? You gotta want to, that's the thing. Like it's not gonna stop you if you don't want to, but if you're ready to make that type of change, um, grapefruit in some Perrier is what helped him to kind of move past that. So. That's good stuff. Okay, so let's talk more about you. So which essential oils can support your health? So I want you guys to write this down. I want you to real. you came tonight, you, you hung on with me this, this amount of time. Let's really think about you. So most of you I think are in here, we've been in here talking about business and I wanna tell you the number one thing that I ask people when they are maybe struggling in their business or they're, you know, whatever it may be, I always ask, how's your own product usage? How, what oils do you love right now? What are you using? What have you seen miracles happen for you and maybe for your family, right? So what do you want to feel less of? Maybe two or, two or three things. Mm -hmm. And then what do you want to feel more of? 
and just be thinking of these things. You can write them down, and as we move forward in um, the class, you can look at what we can do to help you feel less of things and more of things, whatever it is that you want to create, okay? Because really what we're doing is helping you to live empowered, okay? So does this medicine cabinet look familiar? Is this what your guys' medicine cabinet looks like? Yep. <laughs> okay, this is not normal, okay? <laughs> Everyone is shaking their heads, yes. Typically, yeah, the counter, the bathroom cabinet, the laundry room, the bathroom, yeah, there's, these are all over my house too. But if you were to ask your five closest friends, do their medicine cabinets look like this? Maybe they do. If you're me, that's probably yes. But um, yeah, so just be thinking about that. You know, people that you really care about, like what are some of the things that you might help them replace that um, would reduce the toxic load in their lives, okay? To help them be prepared for anything and to feel refreshed with self-care. I love self-care. Like, let's take better care of ourselves just because it's fun. Just because it makes us look better and feel better and when we look and feel better, we just raise the whole vibration of everything, right? And the whole planet, like, it's awesome. So looking at like some of the different things that you can have in your home, in your purse, you know, in your mouth with your toothpaste and washing your hands, like just use the best stuff, you know? And I think a lot of that comes from loving yourself more and really feeling like you are worth that, okay? And also I'm gonna be talking about your daily habits and my daily habits as well, what I use and helping you be prepared for anything. So a couple of the oils um, that I suggest, I'm just gonna put them all oh, back. Come on. That didn't work. There we go. Okay, so a couple of my favorite oils for this. So um, the doTERRA Breathe oil is amazing. And I use Breathe for so many different reasons. I'll pass it around, I'm sorry if I move on if, you know, because it's gonna take a while. So if I'm talking about a different oil, when you get to have your Breathe experience, then that's okay. That's a big class for you. So the Breathe, I love. And if you want, this is a little weird, but if you would like to take a hit of Breathe, this is what I suggest you do. <laughs> I like to just put it in my hand like this, you know, and rub together, and then just go. Take a big deep breath. And it feels amazing. It opens up your lungs. And I gotta tell you, I was at a party in the summer in Las Vegas, and there was a woman there who I didn't know, I was like a friend of a friend, you know, it's a pool party, and she has asthma, and they were out of town, so they don't live in Vegas, they're out of town, and all of a sudden she starts having an asthma attack, and I'm kind of just, you know, standing off to the side, not trying to be like the weird oil lady, but I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh, I have breathe, and she's really having trouble, it's very scary, um, and so they're getting ready to take her into the hospital to get a breathing treatment. This is going to be so expensive like the night is ruined first of all and so expensive an out-of-state er bill you know it's going to be astronomical and so i just said i was a little nervous but i thought i need to just offer right so i just said hey i use essential oils this is called breathe and of course if you feel like you need to go to the hospital by all means like that's not on me you know definitely go if you want to go but maybe you could try to do this you know put some in your hand take a big deep breath maybe take a few deep breaths rub it on your chest, and just maybe wait just five minutes or something and just see how you feel. And she was like, oh yeah, definitely. So she did that, you guys, and she did not go to the ER. <laughs> she was like singing my praises, and like <laughs> hallelujah, and whatever you want me to, yeah, breathe, more breathe, you know? It was just amazing, and it just felt really nice to be able to empower her in that way. Do you guys know anyone who's had a, yeah, you were first. Oh, you do, okay. So you do. You haven't used your inhaler. Oh my gosh. And if you don't mind me asking, like, how much was your inhaler? Was that expensive? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Change your life. I love it. Okay. I have asthma, and the whole reason I had a kit that I hadn't touched, and the whole reason I decided to go bigger and start working with doTERRA is because I was having, I heard, I have very mild allergy related asthma. But I was having an attack that I didn't even recognize. It felt like anaphylactic shock. If, wow. if I were to know what that was, which I don't, but I couldn't breathe. My throat yeah. was closing up. 
and that's what I think it would be like. Mm -hmm. I was on the phone with Julie, and she goes, wait a minute, don't use your inhaler. Try lemon, peppermint, and lavender. Yeah. And I rubbed it over my throat and my neck, and I took a few breaths, and within 10 minutes, I never, I haven't used an inhaler in two years. What? So I, I love it. That. Thank <laughs> you. That's so empowering. I feel like you could just share that one experience. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's it. Like, I don't talk about any of the other stuff. Like, this right here, this is what you need. That's that's amazing. Okay, one more. I Somebody was can't having remember. an asthma attack. She did do on the touch on your hand with the three. Uh huh. Totally oh, wow. Very cool. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to be the weird oil lady on a plane, right? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, I wanted to point out. Dang it, I keep doing this wrong, but there's a cool part of that. Okay, the average cost of the cold or the flu, according to the CDC, Center for Disease Control, okay, is between $100 and $500. Okay, so people pay that, like, you know, when you have to go to the doctor and get on all that stuff. So, interesting that that's the average cost that people pay. It's much more expensive than oils, I will tell you that. Okay, so let's talk about a little bit of my favorite self-care. So, I have doTERRA Serenity, which we passed around. That's, that was the sleepy side. Um, my boys call that their good dream oil. So serenity is the one that's like in their rooms and we put it on their pillow and they have their moment. I am convinced that forever and ever, even when they're in college, they will have their bottle of serenity. They'll, they might not show their friends, but they'll be like sneaking it <laughs> with their mom. You know, it's like a very special moment that um, we have created together. That's another thing that I really love as a mother is I'm teaching my children how to cope with this life, right? This world and there are many different ways to medicate yourself. In, you know, and, and it's really wonderful to be able to show them a natural way to take care of anxiety and stress and things like that. You know, and it helps them to feel empowered to have those little solutions like in their pocket or in their backpack. Um, it makes a lot of difference for people. So another really important one is fractionated coconut oil. So I said I was going to talk about safety. Um, I think it's wonderful to dilute the oils. In fact, one of my favorite kits actually is the doTERRA Touch Kit. It has all the same oils in like a Home Essentials, except for lemon, um, or a Family Essentials, but they're in the roller balls and they're already pre-diluted with coconut oil. I like it when things are easy, right? If it's not easy, like I'm probably not gonna do it because I'm not gonna remember to do it and there's too many steps to do it, you know? And before the doTERRA Touch Kit, I used to have these little cups of like, oil and coconut oil like around the house. I have like, which one is this? Okay, this is the oregano. Okay, yeah, that's the one I need, you know? Because I'm diluting oregano because it's spicy, right? And you don't want to put like spicy oregano on your on your foot or your child's foot. It's gonna burn your skin. I mean, and that stuff burns warts off. So unless you want it to burn your wart off, probably want to use some fractionated coconut oil with that, okay? And a good rule of thumb is like, two to three drops of fractionated coconut oil for every one drop of essential oil. And it does not um, diminish the efficacy of the oil at all. In fact, in a lot of ways, it helps to bring that oil um, deeper into your skin because it spreads it out and allows it to kind of absorb. Um, sometimes essential oils have a tendency to flash off, like especially, especially citrus oils, they like flash off and so they don't you know, absorb into your skin as much. So when you dilute those, um, you're actually helping to spread that out into your skin. So it's never a bad idea to dilute. Um, again, if it's easy for me to do it, I'm gonna do it. And if it's not easy, I don't always dilute because I just like things to be easy. But you need to um, be aware of your own skin type. And if you have a sensitivity to most things, you're definitely gonna wanna dilute using the fractionated coconut oil. Okay, um, and then the Aroma Touch. Aroma Touch massage blend is really, really good for circulation. So when I was pregnant, you know, like the five times that I was pregnant. Um, I loved, actually I only had oils for my last three pregnancies, but I would love to get a little foot rub or leg rub with the Aroma Touch. It helps to bring circulation into the leg. So um, really good for diabetics, anyone that has uh, neuropathy um, or any kind of tingling and, and has a hard time with your circulation, Aroma Touch is a really, really good one for that. Um, has anyone had an experience with Aroma Touch? It's kind of a different one, yeah? Well, when I did it, um, I had a lot of pain, and I was really tense, and it was um, in Conchetta's neighborhood, uh -huh. but it wasn't one of Conchetta's downline. It was uh, the other big one in town, Campbell, and I was just totally overwhelmed, and like, I really can't do this, and Meredith Kelly was yeah. around, and she 
she was doing one of my, you know, I was giving and she was doing, yeah. oh my Lord. <laughs> I literally was asleep. Nice. And they kind of had to like, do we wake her up? Because <laughs> she's no. so good. Yeah. <laughs> has a lot of oils, basil, grapefruit, um, those are the only two I remember right now. Cypress. It is cypress, it does have cypress. It is cypress. Yeah. I've been using cypress on my um, spider veins in a roller ball with a fractionated coconut oil and I have my mom's spider veins and I have quite a few of them and they're quite dark and it is taking them over. <gasps> no oh, that is huge. <laughs> Everyone writes that down. <laughs> That is huge. Yeah. Very cool. Cypress in a roller ball with some fractionated coconut oil. Yeah, coconut oil. Just because the coconut oil makes it, you know, um, spread easier. Yeah. Cypress, I believe, is also good for bedwetting. Yeah, cypress is... It's about water, like it's it's about water retention, you know, so it helps with swelling and water retention and it has to do when your child is bedwetting, you know, it has to do with like absorbing that water and, and stuff. It works. It's awesome. Oh yeah. Cypress and lime in a diffuser. Aren't the diffuser blends so fun? I mean, you could just, yeah, there's so many different. I love it. Okay, so I told you I was going to talk about my daily habits. This is real life true stuff. Like, I'm not just saying it. I really do this, like, every day. So, um, okay, so this is the Life on Vitality pack, and I want to talk about this for a minute and, and talk to you about how important it is to really feed your body what it needs, because I started off you know, this class tonight talking about how I feel empowered, right? And I know that what I'm doing for my body is the absolute best. Like, if something happens that is out of my control, then okay, that was out of my control. But I know for sure that I'm like checking every box on my health journey to make sure I'm feeding myself what I need. I'm not just using some essential oils because they smell good, right? I'm not just like not getting the co a cold or a flu. I'm really feeding my cells every single day. And what I love about the Lifelong Vitality is it is an essential oil-based vitamin. So you're getting micro doses of essential oils in those vitamins every day. So if you forget to use the oils or you don't even know where they are, or if you maybe you don't even like the way they smell or whatever, you can still take Lifelong Vitality and get those micro doses of these super high antioxidant essential oils in your bloodstream every single day. Um, so I'll talk about them individually. So there's three bottles in Life on Vitality. The first one is Microplex VMZ, and this is going to be all of your essential nutrients that your body needs. What I love about these vitamins is that they come from whole foods. So it's not just like they created vitamin A in a laboratory. They took broccoli and got, you know what I mean? The, the vitamin A comes from the food. So you're actually getting those whole food nutrients, which is really valuable. You're also getting them in a form that your body can assimilate. So you're not just taking like a hard packed vitamin that quite frankly, you're just like digesting out pretty quickly. Um, you would be surprised that I've heard from people who work in water treatment facilities, you know, they say like you can literally see like the word centrum on the body, you know what I mean? Like the daily vitamins, like in the sewers, in the water treatments, you can see the word centrum or whatever, you know what I mean? It's true. So just be aware of like you're taking a vitamin or, or if you go to like Walmart or Costco and you're like, oh, I'm gonna get the one that says a thousand percent vitamin A, or you know what I mean? Well, why do you need a thousand percent? Why don't you just need a hundred percent? You know what I mean? You need a hundred percent because if you get a thousand percent, it's probably because 900% of it gets flushed away. Do you know what I mean? So just be aware of what you're putting in your body and how your body is going to break that down. Okay? So the second thing in the, the Life on Vitality is 
your axi omega, and these are your mm. essential fatty acids. So these are like your fish oils, right? And they are red because they also have uh, something called astaxanthin in them, um, and that's, a, that's like a red superfood, basically, it's like comes from algae. It's really, really good for you. And it also, again, it doesn't, if you were to break them open and do a little test, you would notice that the uh, doTERRA's Axi Omega actually, um, like if I was to put it in this, this water bottle and shake it up, you know, the whole thing would turn red. Whereas if it was like a regular fish oil, <laughs> it might mix for a second, but then that, all that oil is just gonna rise to the top and it doesn't get broken down into small enough molecules to break down and go into your bloodstream, okay? And that capsule has nine, that's three, three times three, nine, <laughs> I'm all, nine, uh, essential oils in it, okay? So again, we're talking like if you only did one thing, lifelong vitality is actually the best habit that you could change in your life right now if you're not currently doing it and you would be getting all of those essential oils daily, okay? The third thing is your alpha CRS. And alpha CRS, is your cellular vitality complex. So I like to explain this as we all have cells. I'm made of cells. I've got hair cells and eye cells and skin cells and heart cells, right? All of us have cells. And our cells are designed to, when they become damaged, which they do from sun and oxidation and damage and all kinds of things, they're supposed to do one of two things. One is if your cell is not damaged too badly, it actually can repair itself. Right? Your cells can repair themselves. Two is, if it's damaged badly enough, it actually sloughs off and dies, and is just you know, reabsorbed and, and um, excreted. And so, here's the question. If your body and your cells become damaged, and they keep replicating in their damaged form, what is that? Yeah. So, I just want to point out that really loving yourself enough to be preventative in your cellular vitality is really, really important, okay? So this has a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you just try it. If you have not tried it, I really encourage you to add it to your order either tonight or you know next month. doTERRA has a really generous give you back free doTERRA dollars program that I love, I'll explain in a moment. Um, so it's a good one. So I take that every day, my husband takes it every day. I even give my boys the, I don't give my boys the Alpha CRS, their cells are pretty, pretty poppy right now, but um, they do take the EMZ and the XE Omega, my boys do. And you can buy those separately in that um, daily nutrient pack too, they separate it out. So um, the other one that I do every day is Terrazyme. And this supplement right here is amazing. I, I, it's funny to me that I'm like talking about vitamins and supplements, like you guys, you know, like I never thought I would do that, but I feel so amazing when I take Terrazyme. Do you guys take Terrazyme? Anyone have? Like a miracle story with Terrazyme? Am I the only one? <laughs> like, I feel like I can't, when I digest, not miracle story, but you know what I mean? Like, I digest my food so much better when I take it. It's incredible, right? And I actually was doing some research. I found that by the time we're 30 ish, we start losing a lot of our naturally occurring digestive enzymes in our gut. So you'll notice, like, with your kids or younger generation, they can eat like their whole bag of Halloween candy, right? No problem. They're like, boom, the next day they're like, cool. <laughs> you eat your whole bag of Halloween candy too? Yes. <laughs> well, you look very young. So yes, so you still have all your digestive enzymes. You're doing good, girl. Um, but when you get a little bit older, you lose some of those digestive enzymes. So the, the little um, philia in your gut are, even if you're eating pretty clean and you're taking vitamins, you actually aren't absorbing those vitamins as well as you could be if you aren't taking Terrazyme. So I take a Terrazyme before I eat, ideally like 30 minutes before, but I usually don't remember. So even like 10 to 20 minutes before I eat, I'll take a Terrazyme on an empty stomach and it preps my gut to be able to absorb all those nutrients. Yes. Yeah. So digest Zen um, or the soft gels compared to the terrazyme, right? So Digestin is a great oil, I love it. Digestin, um, it's not really about digesting your food for you or pulling nutrients out of your food. Digestin just makes your stomach feel good, right? And it does help your digestion like move along and process, but terrazyme is about pulling the nutrients out of your food and like really absorbing the nutrients in your body. So terrazyme is more like a supplement and I use Digestin 
I personally, I only use digestin like on an as needed basis. Like if I have a stomach ache, you know, or if there's like an issue with my digestion, I would use it then. Um, but some people like to use it regularly. So does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Okay. So I talked about those favorites. Oh, and frankincense, of course. Who got a free frankincense this month? Who got one last month? <laughs> you can't pass it up. You just can't. You're like, it's a, it's such a great value. So who has, who loves frankincense that wants to tell like that? Oh my gosh. Who wants to tell a story about frankincense though? Like, I don't know a story, but I just use it literally. I use it in my mouth, on my face, on my body, in my bath, in my field. Like I just am obsessed with frankincense. Yeah. I think that it raises your vibration yeah. and keeps you happy and keeps negative stuff like out of your space. I just, it's my favorite. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. For the older guys that have skin tags by their eye, I had one that I never thought I'd get rid of, and she gave me a little sample bottle. I just dabbed a little bit, and it's com almost completely gone. Wow. And that's a common problem with older men, maybe women too. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I love that. It's great for skin care, isn't it? Yeah. My father in law has cancer, and he has skin cancer in his arm and legs and stuff. So I use frankincense, myrrh, sandalwood, and he'll be struggling a little bit. We put it for a month. Nice. Uh, frankincense, myrrh, and sandalwood. What did you put on? Oh, skin cancer. Skin cancer. Skin cancer. Skin cancer. Yes. Wow. And he went to the doctor. They did the whatever it's called. Yeah, like the test. Yes. Yeah, the test, and the cells were clear. Woohoo! That sounds kind of like Immortel. Like it, like what you yes. put in there is like yes. an Immortel yes. one. I love Immortel. Yes. That's one that's like like my toothpaste, my toothbrush, and my Immortel like, mm -hmm. every day on my face. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I have one that's not particularly compliant. So I, uh, I don't think I've been. I, I said ear infection, so <laughs> I said it. Everyone heard me. I'm going to be on the ear infection thing. Um, a friend of mine works for me, uh, friend in the gym, and told me that his girlfriend was diagnosed with breast cancer, and they found three masses in her left breast. And they, she hadn't done anything with nothing, and so she came to me that night, and we sat and we I consulted with her, <clears throat> and I got her on a regimen, an internal regimen of frankincense, thyme, oregano, and algar. She was using them internally three times a day, an empty vegetable cap. She was using them uh, top to the bottom of the feet at bedtime. And she was also putting them with carrier oil and directly on both of her breasts. Um, after about a week, she called me. She said she's no longer having treat pains, because apparently that was a thing. And also there was nothing coming out anymore because apparently that was also a thing that was happening with her. About three weeks later, I ran into her boyfriend at the gym and he had a little smile on his face. And I said, what happened? He said, we went to the doctor yesterday. And I said, what happened? Okay, and what, what did they say? They can't find it. It's gone. Oh. And what was the topic? Oregano, thyme, frankincense, onward. You said it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I have literally cried. And I've heard stories of that before, personally, but I never personally. Will you say what you use one more time, please? Yeah, There's a lot of people that want to know. Thyme, oregano, frankincense, onward. Is that for oral Internally, three times a day, topically, um, three times a day as well, actually. Bottom of the feet of bedtime. If anybody knows anything about the sensorary, it's sensorary, it's a very rare skin cancer. Your whole body becomes red in color. You look like your sunburn. So if anybody has any um, information on that, I would love to hear it because I do have a friend who is experiencing this. And yes. um, I've, I've uh, suggested Frank and Lavender. Melissa. Um, Melissa. Okay. All right. So this is kind of just, you know, in finishing up talking about, again, life on vitality and some daily habits. I think that with learning about oils, it's one thing to learn about oils and to think, oh, wow, I went to this really cool class. And, and then what do I do? I don't know. What, somebody tell me what to do, <laughs> you know? So I'm going to tell you, this is what we do. This is the Dr. Hill protocol. Dr. Hill is the chief medical officer at doTERRA, a brilliant, amazing, heart-centered man um, who knows more about essential oils than most people I've ever met or read. And he says to try these daily habits. So life on vitality, terrazyme, lemon, and then frankincense, on guard, balance, and PB Assist. PB Assist is a probiotic. It's really, really good. You can take those in a capsule, or you can also take the little packets. And as a side note, 
I use those PB Assist packets when I'm having a sugar craving. So if I'm like zero sugar, I'm not eating any sugar at all, but I'm like craving sugar like at five o'clock or six o'clock at night, I pop open a PB Assist Junior. And it totally works. It totally works. It, and it's good for me. So um, yeah, good stuff. I love it. So I hope for you personally, when we were writing down, I want to feel less and I want to feel more. Um, maybe we've talked about oils that will help you in your individual thing, or maybe we haven't talked about those ones yet, right? Um, we can talk about them. If you have questions, I can help you know you figure out a regimen that's going to work best for you. Um, typically, in a class, we would have like everyone would have a price sheet, you know, and, and you can go through and make your wish list and maybe put some check marks next to some things that you have questions about, and we can talk about those things individually. Um, and I just kind of want to finish. So another picture of me with a baby. This is a theme with me. <laughs> His face is covered up, which is too bad. But um, anyway, just wanted to finish again, just sharing my passion for what I do and, and thanking all of you for being here. We've been here for a while. We've been here for like three hours. You guys have hung in with me for the long haul. And I hope that you've learned something new about how you can be more in control of your health. And most importantly that you would know how to speak to others and really kind of share the message in a really genuine way with other people. So thank you so much for listening. And um, a, couple, a couple things, I think most of you are started, but I will just say the best way to get started, and, and maybe you just need to hear this from me, this is how I would say it, right? So the best way to get started is by setting up your own doTERRA account. That allows you to buy for yourself. You don't have to call me and be like, hey, this, you know what I mean, it's you getting your own discount, you get a 25% discount. And it's just like Costco or Sam's Club. You don't have to buy things on a monthly basis at all. It costs $35 to set that up one time, and that lasts for a whole year for you to get that discount. So that is super awesome. Um, if you wanna get your membership for free, which I recommend that you do, if you don't wanna pay that $35, you can actually purchase one of the starter packages which I can pretty much guarantee that like everything that we've gone over this evening would fit within a starter package. So I'll just briefly go over these. This is our diamond kit. This is going to start you out with all of the <coughs> products that doTERRA carries. So you're gonna have all your vitamins and supplements, skincare, all the essential oils, diffusers, um, you know, hand wash and protein shakes and, and green drinks, just everything. It's like completely detoxifying all of your hair care and body wash and all of that along with all the essential oils. So that one is an excellent kit. Um, a lot of people like to get started with that if you're just ready to jump right in and move forward. I really like the Natural Solutions Kit because it's kind of like a mini diamond kit. You know, you're not at like the $2,600 price point. You're at a much more digestible price point for people while still getting a nice combination, again, of detoxifying hair care, skin care, a lot of essential oils, and some of the supplements, as well as the toothpaste and that deep blue rub that we all passed around, plus the nice little box um, that it comes in and the lifelong vitality and everything. So I really feel like that natural solutions kit is a great one to get started with if you wanna get a nice combination. Um, and then there's two other kits that I'll share, which are basically the same. You have home essentials or family essentials, and really the main difference here is the size of the bottles. So you're getting 10 of the most commonly used essential oils, um, a lot of them that we talked about this evening. The home essentials are 15 milliliter, and the family essentials are five milliliter. And um, so you can see, you know, and you get a diffuser with the home essentials. So for like a little bit more money, you get like three times as much oil. So it's the value is there, just kind of depends on um, what you feel comfortable with and getting started. And I did talk about um, the doTERRA dollars. So I fly a lot, and so I like to use my airline miles. Do you guys use airline miles? Like when you fly, like frequent flyer, yeah. So doTERRA does the same thing. When you buy products from doTERRA, they give you free doTERRA dollars to use on future doTERRA purchases. So it makes it really easy for you, like when you're, maybe you're purchasing some vitamins and some skincare or something like that, some stuff that you're using pretty regularly, you can actually cash in and get free essential oils every single month. So for me, I'm at this 30% back right here because I've been ordering for a year consistently, at least 50 points is, is where they want you to be for that. And so I order like 100 points, I'm getting $30 in free essential oils every time I buy my order. So it's awesome. And you can, you know, um, 
start out and you earn 10%. If you do some of the bigger kits, you actually get grandfathered in to some of those larger percentages. So just, you know, talk to me after if you guys want to get started on that and I can kind of consult with you individually on how that'll work best for you. So there's three ways for you to leave this class, okay? Everybody wants to live and make an impact in their own lives. Some of us are gonna wanna share that, right? And if that feels like something you might wanna do, um, let me know and I would be happy to set up a class just like this one where I would come and teach it for you. You could just gather some friends together. I would bring all the oils and the materials and I even offer like a free little gift package of oils um, when you host a class for me. So I come and teach and we'll have super fun so you can share and you know, I just wanna briefly mention that some people that come to my classes, they, they really feel called to do the work that I'm doing. So if you feel like that's something that's resonating with you, just let me know, pull me aside afterwards and we can talk about how maybe we could work together in helping you create your own, um, your own business with the Terra. So that would be fun. Oh, one more thing. I like free stuff. Do you guys like free stuff? <laughs> I have put together this really cool program. This is available for everyone on my team. Um, we have our 21 days of essential oil education program. And what's cool is it comes to you, I'm gonna text you. Okay, so there's no excuses. Like, you don't lose your book, you don't forget what the password was, like there's nothing like that, right? I just text you every day for 21 days a new essential oil little lesson. This is a free online course that I've created that's actually worth hundreds of dollars. People pay money for this course, but anyone who actually gets started with me this evening receives my 21 days of essential oil education program where I will teach you everything you've ever wanted to know. Uh, you also have access to my free Facebook group where myself as well as, I think I was actually just looking, there's about 6,000 people in this community. So you can ask any question at any time about the skin condition that you are asking about, some specific things. We try to keep it like fairly compliant in there. If it's too much, it's probably not gonna get approved, but we really wanna support you guys. That's what we're all about, is just spreading that movement, that education about essential oils. So, that will be really fun um, to have you guys in. So that is the last slide, I swear. So let me know however I can help you guys. Again, thanks so much for your attention.